Strategy nine, be practical. I'm honest, this one I love. Many leaders are perfectionist. This might seem, well, perfect, but I think it is holding many people back. Does that apply to you as well? For example, when you're going to give a presentation, you have the storyline clear, the call to action is there, and now it's time to work on the slides. You open your corporate identity PowerPoint slides and start with the fundamentals. You're using some slides from former presentations, copying some elements from the organization's strategy deck. It looks good. Your colleague helped you and agrees on the draft. Now it is six o'clock in the evening and the fine tuning begins. You nitpick every detail and possibly you've started adding extra elements. But hey, be aware, those are often cluttering the message. Really, keep it simple, my dear reader, listener, watcher. Your perfectionism is taking up too much time. Practice more on delivering your story and stick to the PowerPoint basics. This is obviously not for designers who make things visually perfect. Another example, when you're writing a post on your internet or LinkedIn, many continue writing, rewriting, and in the end, they postpone the actual post. There are questions like, is this the right message? Is this the right wording? The more you think about it, the more insecure you become and the further away the post is from being published. You had a goal with this post, a message to share, but it is nowhere to be seen by your audience. How about this? Agree with an 8 instead of a 10 out of 10 and post it anyway. Better done than perfect. Back to my pilgrim's life. When I started my pilgrimage, I bought my backpack. I tried out, tried out the backpack on a walk in a park in my hometown of Utrecht. While I was walking, I wanted to get my mobile phone out, so I had to take off my backpack, open the top compartment, take out the phone and put on the backpack again. What a hassle for something simple that I would probably do lots of times during a pilgrim's day. The idea for a fanny bag came up. I needed this bag for around my waist, where I could stow my phone, my credential and my guidebook. Fanny bags are the ugliest bags on earth. So I went shopping for kind of a beautiful fanny bag, colorful, a certain brand, but I soon found out that my guide didn't fit into most. So what to do? I searched more and more online, in store. I felt I started spending too much time on this detail. It was time to decide. Should I search longer in the hope of finding a beauty of a fanny bag or choose that dull, and I must admit ugly, gray square fanny bag from the ANWB that's the Dutch um, association for uh, car owners, uh, which I found and which fit in all I wanted. My rationale one. I went for practical and decided to stop spending time searching for the perfect item. During my walks, I praised myself for my practical approach. This fanny bag helped me out during the day. It helped my basic needs. I didn't have to take my backpack off. And it even proved to be a surprisingly good option for the evenings. I'd go out for dinner, wearing something different than walking clothes, and I used the bag as my evening accessory. I even found out that when I strengthened the strap, I could wear it over my shoulder, under my arm, which actually looked pretty fancy. Yes, I love beauty in clothes and luggage, also when it comes to outdoor wear. But when you're walking thousand kilometers, I'd say, be practical first. Now back to you. Where can you be more practical in your leadership? Where are you making it too difficult for yourself? What are topics you spend too much time on that are actually not adding enough value? Are you maybe even postponing decisions because of your perfectionism? Write that blog, post your opinion on LinkedIn, be happy with your PowerPoint slide, and just in case, buy the ugly ANWB fanny bag.